Hello gamers and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. Last time I got myself the Terminator and with my trusty Ender Dragon pet, I head up master mode dungeons. This time I wasn't completely destroyed, but I'm still not good enough to grind master mode. There is a lot of upgrades I need to get and uh, I'm kind of broke. I only have 10 million coins, but with tier 5 Kudra just around the corner, I have an opportunity to make a lot of money from that. To grind the Kudra boss, I'm gonna need a lot of keys, which means a lot of nether stars. And to get a lot of nether stars, I need to kill a lot of vanquishers. As far as I know, there is only two ways to increase the chance of them spawning. The Kudra pet and level 9 Enderman Slayer. To be honest, this is all an excuse. Triple Park Aatrox is back and I just wanted a reason to grind even more Enderman Slayer. So let me enable Auto Slayer once more and start a tier 4 Voodgloom Seraph. And I'm going to use the same exact setup as last time because I'm honestly very comfortable with this setup. I know Reclick Mage is much faster, but I kind of suck at the game and I can't do that. But anyways, to get level 9, I'm going to need a million Enderman Slayer XP, which means I still need 800,000 XP in this Slayer. That would normally be 80 million coins, but thanks to Aatrox's first and second perk, that is only going to be 32 million coins. Let me just kill this guy before he kills me and he's dead. As I was saying, it's significantly cheaper to do this while Aatrox is here, so I am going to absolutely no life the Enderman Slayer while Aatrox is mayor. Actually, since I don't use the Wither Cloak Sword, I'm going to change my setup a little bit and try to pit swap at the end. Also, it seems they're nerfing mana regen on Alpha, which makes sense, that is pretty cracked. But I just got this last video, so I didn't get that long to use it. I just did 1.9 million damage there. All right, now just before I kill the boss, I'm gonna pet swap and kill it. And um, hey, I got a summoning eye. That's gonna pay for nearly 18 bosses. I'll take it. I realized why I was able to free up space for pet swap. Because in my usual setup, I don't even have a Wither Cloak in my hotbar. I usually have a Wand of Atonement, but for some reason I forgot about that. And I've been surviving without it for the past... I don't know how many hours I've been doing this. I got 60,000 XP so far, and uh, this is where I'll call it a day, because it's kind of late. But before I call it a day, I have to do my daily quests. If I intend to do tier 5 Kudra when it comes out, I first have to be able to enter it, and currently I don't even have enough reputation for that. So I better start fishing. There is the first lava horse, and there's the second one. Just gotta kill this bozo real quick. Am I really going to push a child into lava? Yes, I will. I need the points. 10 seconds remaining. Come on, give me points. I need to get C. I think that's like 700 points or 600. Please be 600 because I'm not getting 700. I got B. That's even better than C. Now I need to get 40 Spectre Dust, but I have a bunch of this on my island, so I'm just going to get it from there. Spectre Dust, there it is. All right, now I'm going to claim that and that, that, and that. I'm not gonna do the hot Kudra tier one because to be honest, I'm kind of lazy. If you're grinding for reputation, make sure to kill all the mini bosses every single day, by the way, because they give a little bit of reputation. I think it's 20. I'm not sure. Let's check. I'm now at 10,500. We'll see how much I'm gonna have after I kill this guy. Bro, he's at 23. Okay, there we go. Just left click him to death. And yes, they give exactly 20 reputation. Gotta cheese this bozo real quick and he's dead. And of course, when I said all mini bosses, I met Magma Cube and Ash Fang as well. Ash Fang is kind of painful, but he makes a lot of money. And he's dead. I got first damage. Let's go. I am actually carrying. Time for Ash Fang, which is the reason I unnicked, because otherwise I'm not gonna get help and this guy's gonna take half an hour. Never mind. I'm not getting help regardless. I guess my YouTube rank is meaningless. Can, can you get sucked in? No, 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 no. Don't suck me in. Suck them in, please. Oh god, oh god, okay, I'm fine, I'm pro. Let's not miss those shots. Oh my god, I'm gaming. Oh, and in case you don't know how this boss fight works, the red guys take magic damage, the blue guys take melee damage, and the gray guys you just have to lure into these things, and then they die. Be careful not to get sucked in, because you're gonna die. It seems that my genius plan to use my YouTube rank to make this faster failed miserably, because I pretty much soloed this thing. But hey, it was worth it for the 20 reputation. It's a new day, but the grind must continue on. Yesterday, I stopped at 60k, but today I'm going for 100,000 XP. I don't think I'll reach it, to be completely honest with you. That's kind of insane, but I'll try my best. And yesterday, right before I logged off, I set some stuff for auction, and it seems to have sold. Same in the bazaar, 1.7 million coins. So let's just claim that. And I've already made profit from this layer just with that. I still haven't sold a Twilight Arrow Poison, nor have I sold any of the Null Spheres that I've gotten. I have a lot more in backpacks. So this layer is still crazy profitable. <gasps> Yo, I was not even paying attention. Combat 60. Oh my god. 
that gave me a million coins. I have combat 60, farming 60, alchemy 50, enchanting 60. We'll ignore fishing, foraging, mining. Everything else is maxed. Taming, runecrafting, and carpentry. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Void Conqueror's skin. I saw Crazy Rare drop and I was genuinely excited for a second there. 99,000 XP left till the next level. So, so far I've gotten 100k XP since I've started the grind. I just ran out of soul flow, so I'm gonna have to buy some more from the bazaar. So let's just get a stack. It's, huh? It's 2 million coins? It doubled in price. Just a couple of weeks ago, it used to be a million coins. I don't know what's going on with this, but I desperately need it. So um, sure, I'll pay two million coins. A stack is gonna give me 10,000 soul flow, so I should be good for a while. By the way, if you're like me and you're using a mythic enderman pet, then you should take advantage of its second ability because it gives you 50 weapon damage whenever you teleport. Right now I'm doing around 900K damage to the boss, but once I teleport, I'm gonna start doing 1.1 million damage? Yeah, around 1.1 million damage. So it's quite a significant buff, especially against many bosses. It just helps you kill those bosses a little bit faster. And if you use a Mythic Enderman pet for the boss as well, then you should take advantage of it because it's more damage. Anyhow, I've reached 60,000 XP, which means just another 40k to reach the 100k goal. This is the very last boss of the day. And of course, I forget to pet swap. So far, this is everything I got today. I think two of these and a single one of these are from yesterday, but the rest is from today. So I got two RNG drops, the Void Conqueror skin, as well as the Handy Blood Chalice, three summoning eyes, two of these bozos, and I got a lot of Twilight Arrow poison. I'm actually gonna sell this stuff because I'm running out of space. I don't know how much it's gonna be worth. All right, I'm back to 12 million coins. That wasn't bad at all. I completely ran out of space to store the null spheres, so I just started placing them in chests. I might sell these tomorrow or at some point if I need coins, but for now, they're just gonna hang out there. It's the end of the day, which means it's time for more quests. I'm skipping the Kudra one, I'm skipping the rescue one because that is absolute pain. We got a Dojo one, get a rating of D and control, I can do that. Fish to Moldfin, I can do that and 15 tentacle meat, I can do that. One more thing you could do for reputation is actually talk to this NPC right here. He just asks for some enchanted bone meal and once you give him that, he rewards you with 50 reputation. So make sure you do this every two days. It does have a 48 hour cooldown, which is why I didn't do this yesterday. Boom, boom, and boom. Now it's time for mini bosses. First boss down, second one down, third boss. Ooh, I got a milestone. Fourth. And the fifth and final boss is dead. So this is where I'll call it a day and I'll continue the grind tomorrow. It's day three and I have zero plans today. So I'm just going to grind. I'm currently setting out 362,000 XP. And today I want to go for half a million. Time for the countdown to start because just 10 more bosses and I'll be Enderman level eight. Just nine more bosses. And yes, I am getting help. I myself will not RCM, but if I can get help from a super OP mage, I don't mind. Also, eight more bosses. Face skipping is absolutely cracked, and I don't mind getting a little bit of help. Anyways, seven more bosses. Six more bosses. Four more bosses. But this bozo dropped another core. But last time this happened, I dropped one as well on the same day. So admins, I'm waiting for my judgment core. Three more bosses. Two more. One more boss. And there it is. Enderman level eight. I honestly don't even know what it gives. 15% chance to find RNGs as enchants in super pairs. I've been neglecting the experimentation table for far too long, and now I finally have a reason to do it. And finally, one and a half skyblock levels. Reaching level eight means I only have 400K XP. I still need 100K for my daily goal, so I better get back to grinding. No way, no, no, I refuse to believe that. Not another judgment core. No. He dropped one earlier today. That's two judgment cores. Admins, if I don't drop the judgment core next, I'll find you. I'm already out of soul flow. I just bought a stack earlier. This is so slow without soul flow. It's actually insane. It's up to 2.6 million. What's that 2.6 mil? Soul flow for a stack. What? It was 2 million just earlier today. I mean, if everyone's doing E-Man Slayer, then like, I guess, but that's ridiculous. Also guys, <laughs> remember to use code interest for 5% off on the Hypixel store. <laughs> yes. Is this, is this like a, oh my God, what the, what the heck is that? Why? Oh, Void Conqueror's skin, the second one. Four. Are you kidding me? An instant rune? It's rarer than a judgment core.
Oh, uh, well, on the bright side, I get to make Smarty Pants 5 now. I'm gonna be so smart. That extra 5 mana is gonna carry me hard. Boom. Oh, <gasps> Legendary Golem! You got one? Yeah! Jeez. Let's go! That's 2.5 mil! This is the last boss of the day. I am yet to drop a Judgment Core today. So, admins, I better drop it. I'm just saying. Also, I'm using the wrong pet, which is why I'm doing, like, no damage and... No judgment core. Admins, I will find you. And I will make you pay. Unfortunately, I'm stopping a little bit short of my daily goal. I'm currently at 480,000 XP. It's just taking some time to update. I cannot do 140k. That is a lot more than I thought. I've already killed all the mini bosses today, so I'll call it a day here. Yesterday, I went for 140,000 XP, but I only got 120k. But that's alright, because now I know that I can go for 120k, which is gonna be the goal for today. Because if I do that, I'm gonna be sitting at 600,000 XP. Sword of Bad Health. Ability Bad Health, use 5% of your max health to gain 5 strength for every 5% of total HP you have. So it's gonna cost me 125 health, and it's gonna give me 100 strength? Am I understanding this correctly? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll go get a sort of bad health. It's very, very easy to get. 5% of my health is nothing. I regenerate that in a second. It's in your museum. Dude, you're a genius. Thank you. There it is. Sort of bad health. Let's get this thing back. Okay. 100 strength just like that. Okay. Ragnarok axe, get out of here. <laughs> We're gonna be using sort of bad health. Plus this thing has a 500 mana cost. And it takes three seconds to to activate without taking any damage. But this, I just have to right click. It just costs 186 health. That's nothing. And the cooldown is only five seconds. This one has a 20 second cooldown. Damage, 787k. So around that. And then with sort of bad health, 850k. Okay, bet. Now let's try with Ragnarok Axe. 850k. So pretty much the same. Ragnarok Axe is a little bit better. And I know if I get like hot potato books and stuff on this thing, it's gonna be completely broken. But as I said, 500 mana cost. I I'm, I'm just gonna use the sort of bad health. 1.7 mil, 1.9 mil, okay. 1.9 pretty consistently actually. With Ragnarok Axe, it does happen, but I would only get one hit, 1.9 mil, and then it would just drop down to like 1.7 or something. But when I use both of them, I get 1.9 million very consistently. Let's, let's try something out. I wanna see the maximum damage I can have, but. Okay, and then sort of bad health, and then overflux. 2.5 million! Sheesh! I mean, it's not like I can use this setup for the boss, because I'm just gonna melt, but... It's nice to see that I can do some damage! Oh god, why am I spawning the boss? No, 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 no! I'm dead, I'm just dead, I'm dead. Yeah, no, that was a mistake. Also, this is kind of random. Look at my freaking zombies! What's wrong with these things? That one has an overflux on its head! Oh, wait, I'm gonna spawn mine, too. I just realized when this guy dies, we're gonna have a double boss, which means we might get to see the funny. Uh, I'll go through a hit phase at least, and then I'll stop. Okay, now I have to go up here. There. And then I'll just vibe here. My boss is still at full HP. It's at 208 million health. His boss is very low. 60 mil, 50, 40, 30, and he's doing the funny. Hopefully this works, because if not, my boss is pretty much gonna one-shot me, because it's just been vibing there. He one-shot it! He one-shot the boss! Bro! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> he one-shot the tier 4 in freaking monster armor! I don't even know how it works, but it just works. <laughs> Not quite the judgment core I'm looking for, but I'll still take this. It's worth 20 million coins, and I actually was planning to buy this at some point. So it's pretty good that I dropped it. Let me go ahead and get my Ender Artifact. Hopefully it does keep the Recombobulator. That would be very unfortunate if it doesn't. Get two stacks of Enchanted Obsidian. A stack and a half of this. Let's just get 32. There we go. That down there. This in the middle. Obsidian in the corners. Eyes of Ender like that. And yes, it does keep the Recombobulator. So let's just go ahead and get that 5% damage reduction, definitely need it. The Sword of Bad Health is honestly surprisingly useful because unlike the Ragnarok Axe, I can just right click whenever I want and get up to 100 strength. But it's best for me to use them in combination with each other because then I get a bunch of strength for free. And the very last boss if the day is dead. I am now 
setting out 600,000 Enderman XP. My Ender Chest is completely full today, so I am going to sell everything. I just sold the Hasman Enderman yesterday, and I already got 15 just today. If I hold on and wait for Aatrox to leave and then sell that stuff, it's gonna go up in price big time, but I honestly do not care that much, so in you go. As for the RNG drops today, we got four Pocket Espressos, a Void Conqueror skin, a Handy Blood Chalice, and I think I dropped three of these today. A couple of summoning guys as well. I'm gonna sell these actually. I already did the nether quests and the mini bosses. And speaking of mini bosses, I have killed a total of 10 ash fangs. So let me get the lumina fiber as well as 10 spell powder and a stick. And this is why I said ash fang is crazy profitable a couple of days ago. Because once I get 10 lumina fiber and 10 spell powder, I can craft myself a fire veil wand. Hopefully, I got good attributes. No, but even with awful attributes like that, this thing is still going to sell for 12.9 million coins. So in you go. Boom. And uh, this is where I'll call it a day. I'm extremely exhausted. I'm gonna go sleep. All right, today is the final day of Aatrox Gaming because he's leaving in 28 hours. And also, I just noticed my cookie buff is about to expire. So let's go ahead and claim this stuff from yesterday and get myself one booster cookie for 4.1 million coins. Boom. And let's check if the Fire Veil sold. Yes, it did. 12.9 million coins. Let's go. Boom. I'm now sitting at 25 million coins. And uh, I guess we'll continue the grind. It is kind of late already. So I'm only going for 100k today, which is 20k less than yesterday. I know that doesn't sound like a big difference, but it usually takes me around an hour to get 20k XP, which is kind of slow, I know, but I'm bad at the game. Actually, I'm not exactly sure how much XP I get per hour, so I'll do what I always do. And I'll start a timer. But before that, I'm gonna have to buy some more Soul Flow because I'm kind of running low and it just keeps rising in price. And I've also realized I am a complete idiot because I could have had more magic find this entire time. I don't have that many enriched accessories, but at least the ones I have, I should have had on magic find. So let's just get one of these real quick. 200 bits is like nothing. So there is magic find. And now with my whopping 6.5 extra magic find, I'm going to drop judgment core right game. Now I got another null atom. Okay, I'll see you in an hour. Just gonna kill this boss real quick and then we'll see how much XP I'm at and how much XP I had. Please don't kill me, Beacon, thank you. I just did the math and I got 16,250 XP per hour, which is way lower than I thought I was getting, so uh, this sucks. In other news, I did not get a Judgment Core, but I did get a Hundy Blood Chalice and two Pocket Espressos, as well as an Aether Warp Merger and a Summoning Eye. But anyhow, I'm getting less XP per hour than I thought, so uh, I better get back to the grind. Yo! Oh, another... Oh, oh. I just looked at my meter a couple of seconds ago. It was at 51%. And then the boss right after that, a drop, a freaking Judgment Core. Maybe the enrichments I got earlier are the reason I dropped that Judgment Core. But, once again, that was the last boss of the day. I don't know how many times I've said that, but this is definitely not the last. I'm now at 700,000 experience. By the way, I'm not gonna be doing the nether quests today because it is four and a half in the morning. I'm gonna go sleep. It seems I was wrong yesterday when I said that it was Aatrox's last day because I just woke up and he's still here for another five and a half hours, which is pretty good for me because I really like his three perks. It's gonna be pretty sad to lose all those perks, but I honestly cannot wait for him to leave because as long as he's mayor, I feel pressured to grind. Even after he's gone, I'm still going to do that, obviously, but just not to the same extent. I just took damage, which means the Ragnarok Axe is completely useless. First boss of the day down, many more to go. Aatrox is ending right after this boss, so I really want to kill him for that extra 20% magic find before he leaves. I have 14 seconds left. Please finish up your beams phase. That is the wrong item. Oh, beacon. Come on, give me a core, give me a core, give me another core! No, no core. And Aatrox is no longer the mayor. But I still have 239,000 XP left to the next level. I think I'll go for another 40k XP today so that I reach the 800k milestone. But before that, I'm gonna take a small break and do my nether quests because I am very close to reaching the required reputation for a level 5 Kudra. And there it is, max reputation. I no longer have to worry about this every single day, so um, I'll go back to grinding Enderman. Are you kidding me? I just dropped another enchant rune. 
This could have been another judgment core. Why would you do this to me, game? Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to reset my RNG meter because apparently it's better if you don't select anything. Because let's say I'm filling up the RNG meter and I'm somewhere at like 40% and then I drop a judgment core. I did get a judgment core, but I also lost 40% of my meter. If I did not select anything, then let's say I drop a judgment core at 60%. Sure, it took longer, but I also still have 60% on my meter, so I'm closer to getting another core. I know what I just said makes perfect sense and I should do it, but I also cannot resist clicking on this thing, so uh, let's just keep grinding. There we go, just 10,000 more XP, which is 20 bosses, and I'll be done. 19, 18 more, 17 more, 16 more bosses, okay, 15 more bosses, I think, 14 more bosses, 13, 12, 11, 10, down to the single digits, 9 more bosses, 8, 3, 2, 1, and I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Enderman Slayer level 9. Let's claim it. Boom. I leveled up, and I got 15% chance to find rare creatures, including zealots, inquisitors, elusives, and vanquishers. The main goal. Although I want another judgment course, so uh, I'm gonna keep going. Before we do that, it's actually been a couple of days since Aatrox left the office, so the price of this stuff went up a little bit. So I'm going to sell all of the stuff I got during this grind. Starting with the hazmat enderman, probably not gonna be worth very much. Yeah, not even a million coins, that is just depressing. But this stuff, this is gonna be worth a decent amount. It is... Okay, it's just four million coins, That that that's not very much. But still, coins are coins. Okay, that's pretty much another million coins. And you go. Okay, let's sell the enchants now. A lot of mana steals and two smarty pants five. So this is worth 1.7 mil, not very much. But these are worth 14.7 million coins. Let's go. In this chest, I have the stuff that's actually worth it, like the pocket espresso machines, the handy blood chalices, and the ether warp mergers, the enchant runes, and the void conqueror skin. Uh, handy blood uh, chalice. Uh, let's do 2.6 mil for these. 2.6 mil. Done. Boom. Uh, how much are pocket espresso machines? Pocket espresso. Okay. Done. Um, 550. Let's go. That's pretty good. Okay. H. Ether warp merger. It is... Okay. It's cheaper than the pocket espresso machine. How much is it? Uh, 360. Okay. Bet. 360k. Okay, there we go. Reached the limit for how many things I can auction. So let's go ahead and claim 13.6 million coins. Boom. That's how much I had in my in my purse when I started this grind. Okay, Void Conqueror. It is... Okay, that thing's freaking cheap. I thought it was going to be more than the, the Pocket Espresso machine, but absolutely not. Enchant Rune. Uh, so 6.7 mil. All right. 6.7 mil. 6.7 mil. All right, we're done with the, the poo poo stuff. Now, all of these chests are full with null spheres. Originally, I was planning to buy a ton of enchanted obsidian and then craft them into into null ovoids because I did the math and I'm gonna make like 40 mil if I do that, but it's also gonna cost me a lot just to buy the enchanted obsidian. So I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'll just sell the null spheres as they are. Although I wanna get this upgrade, it's gonna take three stacks of null ovoids, which I can easily make. I just need like 20 million coins worth of enchanted obsidian, and then I'll be able to upgrade my soul flow battery into a soul flow supercell. You know, the, the saddest part, I can't use a personal compactor to craft this stuff into null ovoids, so I have to do this manually. It is so cringe. Mining, obsidian, enchanted, fill up my inventory for the last time, I think, because I only need uh, 12 more. Okay, there we go. Boom. Let me get my Slayer Sack. There was something I actually forgot about uh, in this thing. So combat, boom, null atoms. How much do I have? 5.5 million coins worth of null atoms. And that's with instant sell. If I if I set up a sell offer, it's going to be way more. So let's just claim this. Let me put these in here because I need them. 6.1 million coins. Boom, and you go. I'm not gonna need null atoms for anything. Uh, let's get the soul flow battery. You go in the middle, null atoms like that, boom, boom. And then, there we go. Maxed out the soul flow accessory. Let's open up the hex, in you go, recombobulate it, and then boom, it's legendary. Okay, let's start selling the null spheres now. I lose a lot of coins by instant selling, I already know this. But it's gonna, t it's gonna save me so much time that I don't really care.
Okay, we are done here. And I have made 40 million coins from the null spheres alone. And I didn't even bother to craft these into null ovoids. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about these. And rune. They're- What?! Why are end runes actually expensive? They're like 900 plus K. Let's list them at 900 K per. The end runes have sold, and I have 12.6 million coins to claim. Boom. Am I back? I'm back to 100 million coins just from this slayer. Alone. Oh, 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 the smarty pants just sold as well. Okay, we got another 15 mil to claim here. Boom. 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 I surprisingly made a lot of money from this, but I still want a third judgment course, so... I'm gonna go back to stabbing Enderman. I was happy the first time I dropped this thing because I actually needed it. But now, I already dropped a second enchant rune. I don't need a second one of these. Please, can I just get a judgment core? Let's go, finally. Let's go, I just dropped it. That's the third one. The tier five Kudra update actually just came out today and mana regen got nerfed quite a lot. So I had to pay a little bit more attention to my mana, but uh, I don't think I need to do Kudra anymore. If you remember a couple of videos ago, I was invited to do some floor five where I dropped a shadow fury. Well, this time I was invited to do floor seven. What, what's that one doing? Oh, killing me apparently. Hold on, this is the wrong clip. One second. There we go. Oh, I dropped a phoenix! <laughs> oh, what? Oh, An epic oh, phoenix, oh, but I still... <laughs> Dude, that's so <laughs> random. <laughs> 43 magic find. <laughs> That's right, I just dropped one of the rarest pets in the game. But I wouldn't have mentioned Floor 7 specifically if I hadn't dropped something else. And to top it all off, I dropped both of them on the same run. <gasps> no, what? Oh, did you? Did you? Did you? I just dropped Phoenix but no handle, are you no, kidding you me? No, you did not. No freaking shot. That is absolutely nuts. Open the handle. What? Toadster wants to be invited to yell at you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Not only did I drop a Phoenix pet, which is extremely rare by the way, I also dropped the Necron's handle. Oh, and two Judgment Cores. Um, I'm very rich right now, if you couldn't tell. Also, if I'm a little bit quieter or I talk a little bit slower, it's currently 4 in the morning, I'm very tired, and I don't want to wake up my neighbors. So, let's just set these things for sale. A Necron's handle is currently going for 770 million coins, pretty much. So, let's just do 769 mil, because that's a funny number. Let's just do 14 days, which is 336 hours. Done and price is already set up. It costs 7.7 .7 million coins just to set it up. I went for 14 days because this will probably take quite a long time to sell. And for the judgment cores, let's go with 320 million. And again, let's just go with 14 days because why not? It doesn't really add that much creation fee. So boom, there's a first and there is the second. There we go. This has to be the most stacked my auction house has ever been. Anyhow, as I just mentioned, it is currently four in the freaking morning, so I'm gonna go sleep. It's been a couple of days now and everything in my auction house sold. I have 1.4 billion coins winning for me to claim them. One very small problem though, 
Derpy is currently elected, so I can't claim my coins. I guess I won't be ending the video with 1.5 billion coins in my purse, but seeing how I started with 11 million coins at the start, I would say this is a massive success. Also, if we go ahead and look at my combat XP, I'm on my way to 50 million overflow XP. Remember that I started this video with combat 59. I wasn't even combat 60. Before the video ends, I just want to give a quick thank you to everyone who used code interests. It's honestly crazy to me how many of you use it. Obviously, I do get a cut from the purchase you make, but you also get a 5% off, so everyone wins. Except Hypixel, I guess. Anyways, as usual, thank you so much for watching, gamers. Thank you to my channel members. And I'll see you later. Peace. Yeah, imagine all of us. Oh, he's on me. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh no. If you have oh, to say on you point, now. it's. Not. That's not my fault. No one. You didn't aggro him. Why was it my fault? In Who fact, I'm blaming Gatris. What? How? He blamed Because you are. You are. You because you dropped the hand. Wow. I missed the old interests. <laughs> <laughs> the always broke interests. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good.